What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. Salut à tous et bienvenue sur ma chaîne. So in today's video, I am going to share some tips, tricks, and a little bit of advice on making money from home in 2021. Let's get right into it. So first, I want to go ahead and start off by saying that um, through my experience and talking with some new business owners, entrepreneurs, family, friends, and even some of my supporters, I believe that 2020 was actually a very empowering, liberating, enlightening year in the aspect of people realizing that they can't necessarily be comfortable with one job or a job that probably doesn't even truly care about them as an employee. From this, I've seen so many people follow their dreams, jump out on faith, try new creative ways to make money and also develop new skills to do that. Now, I'm gonna do a video on making money in 2021 from home with a product-based business and making money from home in 2021 with a service-based business. In this video, I'm gonna strictly focus on product-based businesses. Step one would be finding a need-based business, problem-solving based business, as well as a passion-based business to start off with. Now, I know there's different people that would argue me on this, um, but need-based business and passion-based business is, are not always the same. Right now, people are really focusing on things that they need due to the pandemic, due to being on lockdown. So a lot of the trendy things, even for me having a clothing line, people trying to start clothing lines, some of those things aren't working for a lot of people right now because it's not necessarily a need. But I don't think that you should ignore your passions when you are thinking about starting something at home. I am a firm believer in when you love something and you do something with love, you're gonna attract people who are energetically connected to that. So I don't think you should ignore that. But for me, when you combine the combination of a need-based business that solves problems that you're passionate about, you're winning, sis. You're winning in 2021 from home. Some of the people that have been coming up to me that have jumped out on faith in exploring their passion-based businesses have been people who are creating things or making things on Etsy. People who are making things, um, more luxury things, handmade things from home, whether it's clothing, whether it's pottery, whether it's, um, whether it's products like for your body or for makeup, hair products, all of those things. If you are the type, the type of person who has solved a problem, say for example, you've had acne and you've concocted your own oil or your own face wash and it works for you, give it to some family and friends to try out and see if it works for them. A lot of the things that we do creatively as women just to cater to our own needs because it's not necessarily out in the market, oftentimes we think we're the only ones that are dealing with these things that cannot be fulfilled in the product that you can buy in the store now. but nine times out of ten and even ten, ten times out of ten there's somebody out there who's going to want your product and want to use it so if you have something that you've been working on have something that you personally use for yourself test it with your family and friends now most people would expect the next tip to be something like finding a name or doing the website or doing the marketing or things like that. But that's not my personal tip. Tip number two is how do you want it to make somebody feel? Um, there's a difference between having a product and selling a product and it being need and you have no connection to it and then having a passion. When you have a passion, there's love and intention behind it where you want people to feel a certain way or when you use your product, you, it makes you feel a certain way and you wanna share that feeling with other people. I've done drop shipping before, I've made lots of money drop shipping before, but personally for me it wasn't very sustainable because I don't have that entrepreneur mindset where I can disconnect emotions from business. So for me, if I'm not passionate in something that I do, nine times out of ten I can do it for a period of time and I can't sustain it. So when it comes to having a product and finding a product, you then want to ask yourself how does it make me feel and how do I want others to feel? If it's skincare, do you want people to feel like it's natural, light, free, and organic? Do you want, if it's clothing, do you want people to feel sexy? Do you want people to feel trendy? Do you want, do you want them to feel comfy? Um, if it is something like jewelry, do you want people to feel edgy? Do you want people to feel regal? Do you want people to feel like, you know, how do you want, how do you want to feel? Usually when you write this down and you make your own color board or your own mood board, and you have different ideas, you're going through Pinterest, you're going through different people's branding, and you can kind of see that certain brands make you feel a certain way. Usually from this will come either a name, color, marketing, or branding um, strategy. 
genuinely write down on a piece of paper how do i want my product to make people feel for example if it's clothing you might want people to feel empowered sexy edgy versatile you're just going to throw out different adjectives with those adjectives can spew out different ideas as far as a name Usually when you get out of your head and trying to figure out for the perfect name and you ask yourself, how do you want it to make people feel? Different adjectives are going to spark different ideas that are going to allow you to come up with name, color concepts, branding, packaging, and all of that. The next phase would be marketing, branding, and everything under that umbrella. And through answering the previous question and how do you want it to make you feel, Nine times out of 10, through finding inspo, through the adjectives that you've used, you can actually pull colors from it. So if it's skincare and you're going towards something that's a little bit more natural, you might think of colors like browns, nudes, creams, peaches, colors, colors like that because skin tones, skin colors, it's very natural, it feels rich, it feels light, it feels luxurious, but it's also very trendy, very appealing to the eye and it resonates with the skincare brand. Scroll through some of your favorite brands, Instagram feeds and see what they do as far as their marketing or advertising. You can see that some brands use a mix of products as well as people. Depending on what you're selling, you can see that some people do flat lays, some people do unboxings. Really get creative with the way that really get creative with the ways that you want to use content. And also right now more than ever, a lot of things that are working on social media for brands and for product-based businesses are videos. Why? Because videos can't really be manipulated like pictures can. People can see and almost feel like they can touch the fabric of the clothes or see the texture of the face cream. Or Look at somebody's feed that you like and I don't want to say to copy it because it's never going to be authentic if you copy it verbatim, but see what they've done and put your own little twist on it and use your own branding and your own voice and you can literally mimic somebody's feed and make it your own. If you guys are feeling like you don't have a space to create a feed yourself or you don't have the money to pay for, for a photographer or things like that, please check out my video linked here where I actually, I created an entire feed content for one of my supporters with her brand Bombshell Lashes and I just went and bought some props from downtown LA and I created flat lays, I created little scenes um, to create content and I was able to do like two weeks worth of content within probably like two hours after I had already purchased the stuff in just one small corner in my office in my home. So at this point, you have figured out what your need-based, problem-solving, or passion-based business is. You have asked yourself, how do you want it to make you feel? How do you want others to feel? You have come up with colors. You have come up with a feed. You have come up with concepts. And now it is time to launch. Now, my biggest tip for myself that I've learned the hard way is you cannot do everything but understand that when you are jumping out on faith and you're doing something all by yourself you have to do everything in the beginning until you can pay people if you have family and friends that are willing to help you then that's great but that's not the case for everyone when you're launching there's different apps that you guys can use to basically curate your feed before you start it um, like Planoly or Unum or Later, I've, I've done a video on Later as well where you can basically schedule out the feed in the order, you can kind of lay it out how you want to. You can see which order looks aesthetically pleasing, um, and you can also schedule your posts. In my experience, when you launch, there's never a right time to launch. There's not a right way to launch. You just actually have to do it, especially if you don't have any business background and you're starting out with no followers, you don't know what to do. You don't wanna spend so much time on planning and planning and planning because when you launch and you don't get that first sale, it's, it's gonna be much more disappointing if you've planned this out for four months and you launch and you get no sales on day one. Literally be willing to learn as you go and create a feed that looks presentable, that looks like luxury, that looks like um, time, effort, and intention, and reach out to people and try to send them packages in exchange for posts. For me, the number one thing when people hit me in my inbox and they ask me like, hey, can I send you a product? First thing is no private pages. Don't send a message like that from a private page because why am I gonna trust you with my address, my face, or my body, um, depending on what the product is, if your page isn't even private? Two, would you buy from this page if you weren't the one running it? 
Does it look professional? Does it look clean? Sometimes even the comments and the likes don't even matter. If you look like you have your stuff together and you're just starting out and you're jumping out on faith and you're being consistent, nine times out of 10, an influencer or even a customer is gonna say like, oh, this is a new business. If you're a black owned business, a woman based business, a, a mom at home, like put that in your bio. People resonate with stuff like that. And more than ever, people are willing to be supportive to support smaller businesses as well. If you jumping out on faith is something that that's going to be very difficult for you and you have bad habits that don't necessarily pertain to your goals one habit to implement is listening and consuming things that are going to feed your soul feed your drive to start a business of your own and as you guys know you are no stranger to audible on this channel audible has been a longtime partner and it's a longtime per partner for a reason I personally like to practice what I preach and listen to audiobooks straight in the morning right when I wake up, in the car, around the house while I'm cleaning, cooking. They even have a Audible Plus catalog where they have guided meditations, fitness programs, and all of that. Audible is a game or was a game changer for me specifically in the beginning because when it came to starting a business or having ideas, it was really hard for certain people in my environment to resonate with me. I didn't know... Um, I, in my opinion, I didn't have a proper mindset. I didn't have a business mindset at all. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought that the stress of newness was too much sometimes, which could have made me want to quit. Um, just a lot of things that happen naturally when you are going out, um, when you are doing something different than what you're used to seeing in your family or friend environment. So although Audible has a wide range of genres that you can choose from, I specifically always go for spiritual books, business books, or even books where people are telling their specific story because it allows me to get up and be inspired by someone else or to implement new habits, things that make you actually feel productive during the day. Now, I know you guys have heard this offer plenty of times if you are a loyal viewer or supporter of my channel, but if you have been sleeping on this opportunity, the time is now. You guys can go ahead and choose your first audiobook for free within the first 30 days when you go to www.audible.com slash findguru, or you can text findguru to 500-500. And after you launch, I would definitely say that the best thing is to leverage through Facebook ads, Facebook marketing. Um, and by Facebook, that doesn't mean necessarily advertising on Facebook. I've done a whole video on how I leverage my brand doing Facebook ads, and I will go ahead and link that down below. But Facebook ads are incredible because when you have a website through Shopify, Shopify has something called a Facebook pixel and Facebook pixels are like a social security number for your business. It literally stores everything on record of what your website has done, how many sales it has done, how many add to carts, um, how many people have visited certain products and all of that. It shows you all the type of data, who's done it, what age, where they're from, all of that. Instagram, is the feds and i think we all know that by now um but as far as business owners it has been um extremely beneficial because it allows you to leverage and target a specific audience that buys your products so for example i can look at my facebook pixel back in and say wow a lot of people from miami right now are shopping on my clothing website hmm maybe it's because it's warm in miami and people are buying these type of clothes because they want it or Hey, right now it's super cozy on the East Coast and people are buying more loungewear. Let me target this ad with this outfit to the East Coast, but let me target this ad in this product to Miami. And you can leverage it to people who are in between the ages of whatever the age bracket is. And you can sell ads to people in those areas with one product while you're selling ads with, with a product for people in another. Um, I hope that makes sense but it definitely is something that is not a magic trick. You definitely need data on your Facebook pixel for it to work best for you. I would say you need minimally like 50 to 100 sales um, with your Facebook pixel and your Facebook data to be linked to Facebook um, and on Instagram for it to work properly. Another thing that's great right now is Instagram has reels as well as 
videos where you can tag your product in it. When you're on Instagram, think like a consumer. So when you're going through uh, Instagram or you're going through the shop tab, what are other businesses doing? Are businesses doing more videos? Are they doing more pictures? Are they posting three times a day? Are they posting one time a day? And don't be afraid to promote your business. All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't be afraid to jump out on faith or jump out on passion or jump out on needs and explore the ideas that you have been waiting on. 2020 is just a preview of what's to come as far as us, us obtaining new skills and new ways to not only be happy and be fulfilled, but also to provide for ourselves, provide for our family, and um, be in a comfortable environment while you're at home. I know for a lot of people, it's been hard to kind of see the beauty in the change that has occurred, but stay in the flow, stay in a high vibrational frequency where you believe that you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah, but that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload. Peace out.